So there's now a fake version of Google Authenticator that is an info stealer malware that you can get straight from Google. The file in the VM right here, and we're going to run it in a moment and you'll see what it does. So if you execute this and observe the network activity on your computer using something like Fiddler, we're gonna try to capture all of the data that's being sent from any application, any process, we're going to see fairly quickly some real interesting connections. And there it is. So we have a tunnel, an HTTP connection to the URL vanilloin.fun port 443. And the process that's doing this is Authenticator, which is the application we just executed. This does not look like a fun domain, so to speak. And if we analyze this file in VARS total, you will see that this is actually a variant of an info stealer. Specifically, it's a deer stealer. Again, one of the main ways everybody's getting hacked these days is running an info stealer that steals their session cookies, their tokens that allows the hackers to log into any websites that you're logged into, including things like YouTube. So you do not want to be connecting to hacker command and control servers and transmitting your credentials as we're doing right now after running this application. But you might be thinking, where would I get this application? Well, you could get it by simply doing a Google search. So if we do a Google search for Google Authenticator for Windows, as you can see, there is an actual Authenticator app. This is the legit version. But if you look at the screenshot, there is a malicious ad that you might get sometimes that seems to point to google.com of all things. And Google even says the advertiser has been verified by Google. But if you open this, it sends you to this domain, chromeweb-authenticators.com, which looks very close to the actual Chrome Web Store URL, and it's going to download the malware version of this application. But if you take a look at the application and the icon, it looks exactly the same as the original version. So it's not hard to imagine people falling for it. And this is a perfect time for this campaign because there's a shortage of authenticators for Windows. You can see people People are looking for it ever since Authy end of life their desktop version. And if that's the first search result, a lot of people are going to get infected by it. And the interesting thing is if you look for the exact URL that they have, Chrome Web Dash Authenticator. So just do a quick Google search for that. You can see that the actual malware website is still indexed and on Google, although it may not be active at the moment. And if this was shown as an ad, as the top result with the URL pointing to google.com, that is incredibly misleading and a very powerful attack vector, especially when Google says the advertiser identity has been verified. Now, if we keep looking at some of these screenshots, the actual malware exe is hosted on GitHub. This is another thing I've been talking about a lot recently, which is attackers using mainstream cloud infrastructure as a hosting platform it's only going to get worse. These platforms have no idea how to monitor or stop it. We've seen YouTube being used to spread malware. There's all sorts of malware being hosted on GitHub. You're going to see it on Google Drive. You're going to see it on AWS. So a massive piece of advice to everybody watching is never trust a link just because it is an official domain like GitHub or Amazon or Google Drive. It doesn't mean anything these days. They have no capacity to monitor and block every piece of malware that's uploaded on there, especially if it's zipped or password protected. Now, if you go back to the Bleeping Computer article, another really interesting thing about this is that the file itself is also signed and we can verify this ourselves. So if we go ahead, right-click properties, this is how a lot of people would check the legitimacy of a file. You can see that uh, it has a digital signature. So you might think, well, this digital signature does not look super convincing because it says it's uh, some strange electronic products co, which is not what you would expect Google Authenticator to be signed by. But again, this is not designed to necessarily mislead you. Rather, the security product or EDR solution that you have running on the system that might look at that and say, oh, this is a digitally signed file. It's trusted. Let me allow it to execute or let me allow it to connect to the internet. And the moment it does, it establishes this tunnel to Vanilloin.fun where they're going to collect your stolen
in credentials and hack your accounts. Now, it's also very common these days for attackers to use Discord as part of their C2 infrastructure. So anytime somebody's hacked, there's a webhook that allows them to get a message with your IP address, your details, and your cookies downloaded as a paste of a text file or your usernames and passwords just scraped and posted in the Discord chat. Some of these info stealers are really simple. So simple, in fact, that they're very hard to detect, especially if they're signed. And in terms of verification by third parties, well, we're not doing too well on that either by the looks of it. So be super careful when going through Google search listings just because you see the URL of an official website like google.com in the listing itself does not mean it's necessarily going to that. It goes against conventional advice because we would often say check the URL next to the search listing and if it's the right website then it's safe. But that's not the case here. And I'm not even saying that as an isolated advice. So for example, if we take a look at the actual code behind this website, you could totally have something like this as part of a legitimate site like an AWS or a hacked website. And then you could easily have a download link that goes to a separate website like here, github.com. And that may also be a legitimate website like a Google Drive link or an AWS storage link or a GitHub link. So the fact that link is a well-known domain, has HTTPS or any of the old school security measures don't really apply because hackers can easily deceive these platforms into getting the exact same check marks that you would expect of the actual application itself. And I should also mention that a lot of these check marks getting passed off by smart screen, getting a digital signature, a lot of it is simply just spending some money and anyone can get it. So by no means is that beyond the reach of hackers. There's no extensive manual verification process for most of these things. It's just another source of revenue for companies too, which is why I'm personally not a huge fan of the whole oh, if I give it a check mark, then it's safe approach. But I also want to credit the good research done by cybersecurity professionals. So this one picked out by researchers from Malwarebytes, or I should say Malwarebytes Lab. They were the original source of these IOCs, these samples. Also, any.run noticed this in their sandbox. And it's research like this that has allowed us to finally shut down this malware, although there might be more. So do look out for this. Please like and share this video if you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel and now to our sponsor for this video. This video is sponsored by Pulseway, a remote monitoring and management software that you can use to automate tasks across all your systems. Say you're installing Windows in your enterprise environment and you want to get rid of Microsoft Store on all the systems. You can set up a script. All you have to do is type in the PowerShell command that you want to run and then save it. You could then deploy a task to run the script across all your systems and get rid of Microsoft Store. You could do this to remove a bunch of Microsoft spying features, game bar, anything you don't like. So as you can tell, it's infinitely extensible beyond all the built-in scripts it comes with to check event logs, create system restore points, stuff like that. You can do pretty much anything you want. So whether you're managing IT across an organization or just want to run like 10 different VMs, it could help you automate a lot of tasks using your own custom scripts. So do check them out using the link in description. And if you are considering getting Pulseway, viewers of this channel can get up to 20% off all their plans. So use the link in description and you can start your 14 day trial and get the special offer after that. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.